Hi guys, this is Sadek from DoAdmin.com and in this video, we'll show you how to remove the USB debugging notification on your Android phone. So as you might be aware, once you enable USB debugging and connect your phone to the PC by USB cable, you will get a prompt of USB debugging connected. So let me show you onto my phone as well. So currently I've enabled debugging and my phone is connected by PC by USB cable and as of now, under the Android system section, you could see I'm getting a prompt of USB debugging connected. Now as you might be aware, you, you cannot remove this prompt if you swipe left or right this prompt will not go away even if you tap on this prompt to open it and even after opening the prompt as you could see it's still there so natively you there is no option to remove this prompt until and unless you disable the debugging but i found out a nifty workaround using which you could easily remove this prompt onto your phone but there is a catch involved you have to root your phone via magic and only then you'll be able to carry out the stars so if that's well and good then let's get started so first and foremost, you have to root your phone by images as I told you before. So you could refer to my guide on how this could be done. So check out my link guide and root your phone by images. You could also check out the video. I made a video on the same as well. So either refer to my guide or the video and then next to the root your phone. Once you have done the root, you could also verify the same by opening the images tab. And likewise, you could also verify it from the root checker app, which you could install from Play Store. So you could verify the root and as you could see, my phone is now rooted. So once your phone is rooted, you now have to install the ls post framework so go to this link and open my guide you could also check out my video as well and let's now install the ls post framework onto our phone so for that you will first and foremost have to root your phone which you have done already next up you have to enable the digest. so launch the magic cap then tap on the settings icon at the top right and enable the toggle next to digest. once that is done you now have to flash the module so the it's the ls post module so you have to download it from the github i've already shown the link so go to this github page and expand the section next to releases let me show you so under assets make sure to download the file which has the zygisk in its name since we are using the zygisk file so make sure to download the zygisk release zip file and send it to your phone once you have transferred this file to your phone let's now flash it so launch the magisk app then go to the module section and tap on install from storage now you have to select this zygisk release so let's go to the download folder and Let's now choose the ls post zip file as the digest release and the file has now been flashed. Once the flashing is now complete, just tap on reboot. So our phone should now reboot and after that, the module would have been flashed and the digest would also have been enabled. So I'll show you that as well. And once that is done, as of now, the ls post framework will only be installed in, in the back end. It will not be installed in the front end. There will be no UI to interact with. So we'll now have to install the ls post app in the front end as well. I'll show you how that could be done. So let's wait for the phone to boot up. Do know that the first boot up might take up a few additional seconds. That's completely normal. And the steps shown here are applicable across all the custom ROMs or the stock ROM that does not matter. What matters is your phone should be rooted. So, and it's applicable across all the phones, whether stock or custom, that does not matter. Anyways, let's now launch the Magisk app. And as you could see, we are getting yes next to Zygisk. So this signifies that the Zygisk have been enabled and under module as well, we have got the Zygisk LFOS module which is up and running. But as you could see in the app drawer, we don't have the LSPOS app as of now. So open the file manager app and go to the location where you have downloaded the LSPOS zip file. Now you have to extract the zip file. So let's now extract this zip file. If the file manager app does not have this option as you could see in my case, so you could simply open this app then Select the manager.apk file and then choose the extract to and extract it anywhere on your PC. So in on your phone. If you cannot extract this file on your phone, then you could simply enable go here and expand the charging this USB cable and select file transfer. Then your phone will be visible on your PC. And as you could see, this is your phone here. So from here you could also perform the extraction on your PC and then place the extracted file onto your phone. So just select the zip file ls post zip file right click on it and choose the open option or extract you could choose any of these two options and then extract the apk file from here you have to just extract the manager.apk file so simply extract the file and then task stands complete so in my case i've already done the extraction from the phone itself so let's now check out the result so this is the manager.apk file which i've already extracted so just now we have to install this apk and tap on continue and hit install this will install the ls post app and it will give us a UI to interact with so now type on open and with this as you could see the ls is now installed and activated you can verify the same from here so we'll now have to install the module which will allow us to remove the debugging connection so the, the name of the module is dark tricks so you could download the module from github it's an 
open source modules you could verify the a source code as well so go to the asset section and download the apk file from here once you have done the download simply install it so let's launch the file manager app and install the file this is the twix apk file so enable the toggle next to allow from the source if it asks then hit install with this the module have now been installed and it, you will not be able to open the module from here you have to open it from the ls post framework itself so let's now launch the ls post framework this is the ls post app so launch it and then go to the module section and then select the dark tricks and enable the toggle next to this enable module but this the module has now been enabled so let's now access the settings menu of this module so type on the settings icon and from here make sure that the hide edible notification is enabled once you have enabled this notification prompt enable the toggle next to this option you now have to restart your phone this restart is compulsory so hit the restart button and let's now wait for the time frame so just to repeat once you have installed the ls post you then have to install the dark tricks but the dark tricks module does not have any ui so you will not get the option to open the app you just need to type on ok and then launch the ls post from ls post you have to enable the dark tricks module and then tap on the settings icon to access this module once you're inside this module just make sure to enable the toggle next to hide edible notification and then you have to restart your phone the restart is compulsory it's not optional so as you could see our phone is now booting up and it's now booted and so let's first and foremost verify the state so as you could see the module is there it's activated and the high edit will be notification is enabled as well so currently as you could see my phone if i go to the settings menu first and foremost let me show you if i go to system developer option you could see that usb debugging is enabled and likewise if i go to the platform post folder so let me show you from that as well and open cmd window and hit enter this will launch command prompt inside platform post folder so now if i type in adb devices and hit enter you could see i'm getting a serial id so with this debugging is enabled and it's connected to my phone but now if i check on the no notification panel you could see there the notification of usb debugging has been removed from my phone i am no longer getting the debugging notification so guys this was all from this guide if at any point in time you want to revert the change in other words you want to bring back the usb debugging notification then you just need to either disable this toggle hide is just need to disable the toggle of hide edible notification and restart your phone or you could simply remove this module as well disable this module or you could simply remove it as well so for removal you have to go to the module section and you could then remove the module from here apart from that you would also so let me show you that so select here and hit uninstall or you could simply remove the ls post module from magisk as well and doing any of these tweaks so go to module section from the magic cap and simply disable the digest or hit remove so carrying out any of these tasks will revert the process and you will get back the notification so just to repeat to get back the notification there are quite a few ways of doing so you could simply disable the hide edit notification and restart your phone or you could disable the module itself or you could remove the this dark text module from here or you could go to the magic section and disable the digest module or remove the digest module any of these tasks will bring back the notification icon so let me show you that as well so as of now i'll be taking the most selfish approach so i'll simply go to the module and turn off the hide edible notification and upon the restart i will again get back the edible notification on my phone so let's restart my phone and show you that as well so let me hit the restart button do keep in mind that the steps are applicable across all the android phones and for all the android version from android 8 up to the latest android 13 it does not matter the os you are using you could use either on the stock rom or the custom rom what matters is your phone should be rooted so that's the only point of concern you have to root your phone apart from that you could carry out the task across all the android phones and all the android versions and once that is done you just need to enable the toggle next to hide edible notification under the dark tricks and debugging will be removed and if you want to bring it back then simply turn off this toggle and the notification will be back so let me show you that as well so currently i have disabled the option so just to verify let me go to ls post go to modules under dark tricks as you could see the hide adb notification has been turned off and from now onwards i will once again get the notification of android system and debugging as you could see it's here so guys on that note i round off this video if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and please like this video and subscribe to this channel for more tips and tricks thanks a lot for watching